Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crop an image to a specific size. Before I've shown you how to crop an image using the crop tool and the marquee tool, just to a general size judged purely by eye and what looks good. For this one, we're going to be more specific. Say for argument's sake you wanted to crop this image but have it fit in a photo frame. You want to get rid of the outside area to focus more on the cow's face and you wanted a photo frame of 10 by 8 which is an imperial size, meaning 10 by 8 inches. Right, we can do that using the crop tool. But first of all, let's have a look and see what size we've got. OK, mine's set up to metric, so it automatically by default shows centimetres, but we'll change that to inches. And here we can see it's nearly 14 and a half inches by 19 inches, just over. And the resolution's 240. That resolution's great, that's fine for printing, so you don't have to worry about that but obviously we want to reduce the size a bit. Now I could do that in this dialog box here, but that would keep all the outside area, which I've already said we want to crop away a bit so we can get more of the cow's, cow's face. Okay, and take a look at the, um, the, the pixel dimensions here. They're actually quite high, and I'll go back and show you that again in a minute. So we'll cancel out that one. Right, we'll take the crop tool, and we'll put in... 8 for the width, and as you notice, mine's automatically defaulted to centimetres, which I don't want, so I'll put in inches here. And if I put in inch, it'll go back to IN, it automatically knows what it wants, so I can just put in IN, and it'll be happy with that. And I'm going to leave the resolution blank. We know the resolution was good enough for printing, and what will actually happen is, because I'm constraining the proportions, making it smaller, Photoshop will just squish up the resolution to make it fit, so you won't actually lose any detail within the cropped area. Obviously the bit outside the cropped area will be lost, but the in, anything inside will be kept, um, so it's uh, less damaging. Let me just drag the crop tool across the image. Now actually notice that the, it doesn't matter where I put my cursor, the dimensions of the cropped area remain the same, the aspect ratio is the same. So I'm going to leave it about here. Okay, and I'll select that. Now if we look at our data again, we see we've got bit into inches, fraction over eight. You couldn't obviously fit the pixels to exactly eight, but it doesn't matter. That's not going to notice. Eight by ten and the resolution's gone up. Now it's three hundred and thirty three point six where it was two forty. And again, now we haven't lost a huge amount in pixel dimensions <coughs> because of that resolution. Right, okay. Well, that's fine because we're printing it. But what if we wanted this for a website? We wouldn't want a high resolution like that. We'd only want a resolution of, say, 72. So instead here, we can fill in the resolution and put 72 in there. Now when I crop it, out there, hit return. You can see the image has shrunk automatically. Let's zoom in a bit. And now, if we look at our image size, here we've got 8 by 10, resolution of 72. And now, look at the pixel dimensions here, they're much reduced because this is a much smaller image now. And this will be fine for a website. Okay, so there you are, crop into fixed dimensions. For more tips and tutorials on using Photoshop, why not visit my website at www.sally-jane.co.uk.